Who doesn't like lasers, right? Hey guys, so I got this laser etcher cutter from Banggood earlier this week and I've been having fun with it. Some wow moments and some disappointments. Firstly, this laser was sent to me by Banggood and I really want to thank Jason at Banggood. He has been a wonderful help and he really has helped me with everything with regard to this channel and to getting these, these products here. I have not been paid for this review. This is all my own opinions and Banggood has no input in the making of this video. If you check out in the description below, you can see the affiliate link for the laser unit and any purchases made on these affiliate links in the description really help the channel. So check it out in the, uh, the links in the description and the other links further down in the description below. Right, so let's go over to the description of this laser module on the website. So if we look at the lips, website here, you'll see that it's a VideoTech 20 watt laser. Now, that 20 watt laser, laser description there is a bit of a misnomer and a bit misleading because the 20 watts that it refers to is actually the laser um, input power, so how much power it draws. So the laser module itself draws 20 watts, okay? But the actual output of the laser is only 5.5 watts. So that's a little bit on the confusing side and um, it's a little bit of a misnomer and it's misleading because you read there 20 watts and you go, oh my goodness, a 20 watt laser. But you're only going to get a 20 watt laser really in a CO2 laser, so uh, it's a little bit misleading. So if you look down on their website here, you've got a couple of other options here and it tells you all the things that you can and you can't cut. Before you get into any cutting with this laser, there are safety precautions. You have to use these glasses when you're using um, the, the laser. The laser light is very powerful and can be incredibly dangerous to your eyes. It will damage your eyes. So what I've done is I've separated my unit away from my, my office and from where I am and I've put it into another room and sometimes I hide it under a box. But of course, then you get fumes that build up inside there. But I write, try to keep this laser separate and then while it's operating, I don't go into that room. So And I lock the room so nobody else can go in there. So I really do, you have to wear these safety glasses and I'm thinking about building a little drawer for this where I can safely lock it away with extraction fans that pulls the fumes away. Um, and yeah, it just, it is a bit scary at times because if you are not careful, you can go blind uh, with, with this. So the only other problem with these glasses that come with the, uh, the laser module, they're great glasses, but they're a bit small. They don't fit over my existing glasses. So I have to take my glasses off when I put these on and then I'm as blind as a bat. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not everybody's gonna be like that. So we do weekly tips, tutorials, and reviews on this channel. So if you're new here or you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and click that notification icon to get the latest videos. And of course it's free. So, and it doesn't harm you, it helps me. It helps me so much with this channel. It builds this channel, those subscribers are really there to build the channel. So I really appreciate if you could do that. All right, so I have been playing around with this laser and uh, I was gonna show you how to assemble it, but it's actually literally four screws and four thumbtacks and it's very, very easy to, to, to build. And when I first saw this laser module, I thought because of this, this design here where you've got this long overhang, it would tip easy while this is uh, lasing. It doesn't, it doesn't move at all. It's actually incredibly sturdy and stable and surprising how well uh, this all holds up and doesn't rock because you've got your, your motors on the other side as counterweights. So the design is pretty good, it works well and uh, it's pretty darn fast. I'll show you a quick demonstration just now. But before we get into that, I just want to show you some of the things that we cut. I wish I could find my very first cut. I can't find that, that piece anywhere. What happened was that I nearly set the house on fire because I set the laser to 30 watts and I was cutting out something under a box. I put a box over this again and I finished lasing it and I was at 30% 30, uh, 30 and I said 30 watts earlier, 30%. So when I went over to the laser, I took the box off and there was smoke pouring out of it because the cardboard had caught on fire. So 
I only had to drop it down to 12, 15% and then it was uh, etching cardboard easy and, and nicely and looks good and all that sort of thing. So you have to play with your settings. We'll get onto the settings now and the software. The software is a little bit tricky and, and that kind of thing. So, but just some samples. So um, I haven't got much in the way of things to cut here and I wanted to get some balsa wood, you know, that modeling wood that you can use to make model planes and stuff like that. And I wanted to get some, but nowhere in South Africa is there stock, well in Durban. So it was a little bit of a disappointment and um, I, I, was, I was hoping to get some things that I could actually cut. But for now, I'll show you one or two things that we have cut here. But I wanted to etch on the top of this uh, T uh, can I see I wanted to etch the word T so it looks nice. So what I did is I took a spare piece of wood and I etched with different settings. So if you look at this one here, this one is etched at 50% and uh, these two here were etched. This one was etched at 50% and this one is etched at 100%. So you can see that it does cut quite deeply. This is a, you need to focus the laser so it can't cut too deep because it loses focus and then it just loses power. But really not a bad looking cut they really came out nice and then after a couple of tests with sizes and speeds and different graphics i finally came up with the the one on the bottom of the tea bottle and i think it actually looks awesome my wife loves it so um, we've had this around for a while and uh, just wanted to put the word tea on there and it looks stunning so really pleased with that result and it was really quick I've also did a etching for my wife on a on a coaster of her logo for her uh, her channel. Uh, you must go check it out. It's Christ Healing Center or Val Wolf if you search her on that. Uh, go check out her website um, and her channel. So I did this this little etch here on this cork worked beautifully. I think I over etched it. I did it a little bit too high. I think it was at about uh, eighteen percent that I did this one. I could have dropped it right down. And unfortunately, I had a box on here to protect my eyes and I bumped the laser ever so slightly and it went out of alignment. So you've got to be careful of that you cannot bump this thing while it's lasing because you'll, you'll lose um, you know, some of your, your settings and stuff like that. So I wanted to see if I could cut. So I tried out a little cut here like this. I did a single pass. It worked, but it didn't go all the way through. And then I did this one here and I did a triple pass and it cut all the way through. So now this holds my cutters quite neatly. So, you know, for making tool trays and stuff like that, it'll be quite, quite neat to add these polystyrene pieces that you can cut out. And it cuts well, oh, it really cuts well and it's fast. We will try that now now. On their website, they did say that you can etch PC board. Um, I was dubious about this because it's highly reflective and it does not seem to, to do anything to reflective surfaces. So I'm going to have to still experiment with this. I'll report back once I get this working on how I did it because I'm very interested in etching PC boards uh, with regard to, to creating you know, PC boards for electronic projects. I tried to cut through this uh, rather tough board and it just barely at 100% just barely etched the surface. So it didn't cut too deeply. Uh, I was a bit disappointed about how deeply it cut. You know, anything I tried on a shiny surface did not work, uh, which I expected. And then, because it says it can, it can uh, mark stainless steel. This is stainless steel and it did nothing. I put a bit of a black mark on here, I tried it again, it still didn't work. And then of course, clear plastics, forget about it. It does not do anything to this. It did not do a single thing, even at 100%. Even though the focus was 100% on them, I got no result out. So it's a hit and miss thing and it's a, a thing that you need to experiment with and try and test. So guys, let's try this out. Let me show you how this works. Uh, the manual does explain a lot about assembly and installation and all that sort of thing. And yeah, it's okay. The software it comes with is called Vigo Works. It's a little bit iffy, okay? So I'm gonna put the glasses on and then we'll turn the laser on and you'll notice that when you turn the power on, the laser does not come on. So um, I can actually safely turn on without putting the glasses on, but rather not. So let's put those on and hopefully I can see my computer screens. So when you turn it on, it beeps. Now, one of the nice things about this, this uh, laser is that it has a Wi-Fi module built in. So you don't have to have it connected to your computer. You can connect it to a Wi-Fi, sorry, I can't see. 
they can connect it up to a Wi-Fi module uh, or your home router. So uh, the instructions are pretty easy on that. If you just go into your settings, uh, you can go into your network and enable your SSID settings and send it across to the machine. So I found that it's a little bit iffy on the connection. Um, you know, when I first tried it, I click on connect and uh, then we just wait for it. And it says the wireless LAN device is closed. I found that if you just click it a couple of times, eventually it does grab it on its own. So I do a couple of clicks. There we go. So as you saw, it took a little while for it to find it, but then it did find it. Uh, just keep clicking on that connect and eventually it finds it. The machine beeps saying that it's ready to communicate. And there's a little blue LED that just flashes a quick flash telling you that it is connected to the internet. Now, the software layout is pretty simple, but one thing that is rather confusing and I'm still struggling a little bit with, if you look on the right hand side here, you've got your speed of your laser, you've got your strength of your laser, you've got your dot per millimeter, so your DPM is just your resolution on how, how it looks. Now, your speed and your power of your laser both have an impact on what your, uh, your, your print will look like. So if you do an engraving with a uh, high power but uh, slow speed, it will cut deeply. But if you do it with high power and high speed, it will cut not as deep. And so if you play around with these settings, you've got to play around with both settings to get your settings right and, uh, and working well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a... Um, a piece of wood here and we're just going to carve something simple. So the first thing you need to do is set the focus. So I'm going to put these glasses on and on the right hand corner here you'll see that it says weak on. So if you put weak on it projects a laser and you can you can focus that using the twisty knob here to get a very tight point as tight as you can. There we go. So now it's focused and it's ready to go. So I'm going to turn the week on, uh, sorry, week off, and then I will put my glasses back on and uh, click on the gallery. It'll load up a little gallery of some items it's got there. So um, let's have a look if you want to, let's do the car. Let's just put the car on there and open that. So that opens up an outline of the car and uh, we can go outline mode, which will now only draw the outline of the car here. Uh, outline, now the difference between outline and binary, binary will go across like this, down like this, outline will actually follow the outline using the contours. So we want to make our little image, um, I think this piece of wood was about, let's say about, let's go 50 high or make it, let's make it 40 high, okay. And then what we can do here is we can now check to make sure that it's going to fit on the build So I'm going to put my, my, um, my glasses back on. Okay. And then we hit on confirm and we go uh, into range preview. And you'll see what it'll do. It'll draw a square around where it's going to do this etching. Okay. Which is kind of nice. You know where your, where your, your final end goal is and away you go. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to cancel because I want to reduce my power. I'm just going to bring it down to just a, uh, let's make it a 15% power uh, with the current speed. Confirm. And uh, again, just preview. We're happy with the layout and where it is. And then we hit uh, start. And it will start cutting. And as you can see, it is relatively fast. Uh, yeah, that is cutting fine. Relatively fast. And uh, out we go with our outline. I've maybe made this a little bit on the weak side because it's uh, it's not etching too deeply into the wood, but it's pretty darn accurate. And uh, I will I'll show you a picture of this when it's done, and the way it goes, and looking beautiful. So the application works well, and if you look at on the screen here, it tells you where it's actually etching at the moment, and the arrow follows on where it's going to be etching, and the it's pretty accurate about what it's saying. So if you're in another room and you're busy etching, you can etch and you can follow on on your screen exactly where you are. And that's what I love about this wireless feature. A wireless feature works exceptionally well. It really is uh, something to, to, it's nice because you don't have to have it plugged into the computer. You don't have to have it in the same room. It's in a separate room 
and away it goes. Okay, so um, I might have chosen a bit of a complex model. So we'll let that print and away it goes. And uh, yeah, so this little etcher, I want to do a lot more work with it. I want to see how far I can take this thing and get some different materials. I actually did etch on the back of a piece of plastic here as well. I uh, etched the word spare them. It did cut it in, it melted it, and it is visible. So it is kind of nice to, to mark items that you want to. It does melt and raise the plastic a little bit. Again, experiment. You have to, with this machine, it's a lot more about experimentation and experimenting with what you can do and can't do with this machine. So just last again, I want to thank Banggood and thank you for sending me this unit. I'm really impressed with it. And uh, click on that link below in my description, the affiliate link, it really helps the channel. If you want to consider supporting us on Patreon, please, I've got a Patreon channel. I've got a uh, buy me a coffee link in the top of the, of the, uh, the comments and also in the description. Please go and click on that, support the channel so that we can grow and we can bring you more videos. I'm so excited about what we can bring you. Soon, I will be bringing you um, some nice stuff I've, I've received from Banggood to show you and I'll do some more videos on that soon. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this video. This was a fun one and this little laser etching thing works exceptionally well. It's great fun. It's a nice little thing to have, isn't it? There, it's done. It's finished. It's just finished and uh, that looks absolutely amazing. I will take a picture, but there we go. It looks amazing. And it's cute and I think there's a lot of a lot of applications for this and I really want to experiment and see how far we can go with it and see what we can do. I'm going to turn this off. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check back soon for more videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos. And on the screen right now are some more videos that you can go watch. I'll see you in those videos. Have a great day. God bless you and stay well. Stay safe.